working with tape and modular synths. I mean, you had to take the opportunity if you got a good sound because of tuning issues, patching issues. A lot of the times the synths were older, so they were somewhat erratic. If you got a great sound, you had to decide that you were going to commit it to tape. And you didn't have infinite tracks. You didn't have virtual tracks. You had 24 tracks on a on the machine and by the time you were done with various time codes and so on you probably had 21 tracks so a lot of times you had to make decisions also with doing vocals you know like if you got a great take you may have had two lead vocal tracks to comp between so you had to make a decision like do we do we really think we can get it better than that because if we do we'll record over it but if we don't so you had to commit uh, i think you know that's basically the bottom line is you can forever edit these days and put off the evil hour of like, right, that's it. Um, and I think uh, I think that's one aspect where sometimes it's not as positive, where maybe records take a little bit too long sometimes because you can edit to the nth degree. And also somewhat the sense of community, I think. You know, you used to all have to go to the studio, sit there and, you know, everyone had to be there, whereas... Uh, a large percentage of, of, of colleagues and friends of mine that are artists spend a lot of time sitting on their own in front of a computer, you know, wringing their hands like, is this the, is this the right thing to do? Whereas before, like I say, you would have had a community of people and you would have been in a particular creative space to do that. So there's pros and cons like there are with everything.